that's when we seriously started looking around at somebody who could come in and take us to the next level or to the level where we want to be. Uh, I spoke to a few people and obviously I'm absolutely delighted and honored uh, to, to have Brian as uh, our head coach. It's been a, a, a poorly kept secret for the last week or so and you get down to the challenge now of working hard here and, and trying to establish you know, the right principles, but it's a wonderful stadium, isn't it? And it's worth it building something nice here. What, what was it that sort of sold the idea of uh, coming to coach here at Salford? It was, it was a big decision. Um, I think the owners, Dr. Kukash's vision was, was similar to mine as to what a rugby club should, should look like and, and what it could be and, and the surrounding area, particularly in this particular city. So. Uh, I think that's one of the challenges for us both, but you know, the short term and the medium term, it's to uh, try and get bigger and bigger crowds and give them something that they can be proud of. Everybody knows of my vision, uh, try to creating, uh, want to create uh, the biggest rugby league club in the country. And in selecting a coach, it was very important for me that the person that we were going to appoint truly believed in my vision, truly believes it can be achieved and helped me to realise it. And Brian obviously did that. And there's uh, been two coaches that have stepped up to the plate in the, in the past few weeks. Uh, what, what position will they be in? You know, I started the conference by thanking both of them. Uh, they are the future of Salford and very much going to stay uh, with the, I hope they both stay and play a big part in, in, this, uh, in the process of taking us to the next level. I think they've done a terrific job and I've told them both that I think you know you clearly see some improvements over the last few weeks and that's any coach's job small improvements and keep raising the bar in all the areas you know the, the players have then got to keep all the things that they learnt one week and take into the next week because there's a, a tendency to move on to something else and and so they should be pleased however that there's no doubt that you know moving forward that the new players will come in and they've just got we've got all got to show that that um, you've got to want to part be a, something that, with Salford through you and uh, a Salford brand if you like but I have to say Alan and, and Sean have done a terrific job and they des deserve to be part of that, yes. It's great to have uh, a big coach and to build a team around the coach rather than to have the way around and I think that is going to help our coach a great deal and this is why over the last few weeks I've been reluctant to bring any more players uh, and I just want to to wait for the coach and Brian is here now and if he finds the right players he's got my blessing to go and sign them. So is there any sort of idea of, uh, of how long players might start coming in? Has, has Brian been looking at them? I will keep, I'm not going to make the same mistake as I made earlier in the season. Players will be announced to the media once they've, they've signed. Speculation, I'll stop the, all the speculations. I'm not sure you can by a team, you look at the successful teams in professional sport in this country and even in rugby league and you'd have to say the most successful ones haven't been purely bought, you know, they've, they've had an element of identity about them and um, I certainly believe that as well and call it what you want, a winning spirit or culture or I don't, I don't know what it is but you, you've got to want to be at the place that you're at to do well. How have you missed the, the coaching side of things? Is it something that's just sort of turned back up recently, I uh, want to get back into the game? No, no, it's, it's been there for six or seven months. Um, it's, you know, coaching is, I think, one of the things I'd, I hopefully do well and um, I'd like to, to do it well again in this particular club and, and leave the joint a little bit better than probably when we, we came in here.